Next, we are going to implement the ability to delete an expense from a category. You should be in the expenses view controller for this because this is where the slide to delete ability will reside. And let's begin by going down to where we can form to the UI table view data source and implementing another function, table view commit editing style. And now that we have that, let's check if the editing style is for deletion. This is where we would actually delete the expense or call the function to delete the expense. And let's actually implement a function to delete an expense. And let's do that underneath our prepare for segue function that we implemented earlier. And let's call this function delete expense. Extremely creative, I know. This delete expense is gonna take in a parameter at index path of type index path. And now we need to actually get the expense that we want to delete and delete it from core data. So if I navigate up to the very top, notice we have our var category. Category holds an array of expenses and those are expenses contains the expense that we actually want to delete. So let's begin by doing a guard let and beginning to unwrap our items. Most importantly, let's unwrap the item that we actually want to delete. So let expense equals category dot expenses. And let's get the expense at our index path dot row. With our expense, now let's get the managed object context from our expense. So let's do a comma, tab over, let managed context equals expense dot manage object context. Else, we're simply going to return out of this function. Now that we have both the expense and the manage, con manage context, let us perform our delete by calling our manage context dot delete object, and let's pass it our expense object. A delete does not actually take place until we save our manage object context. So let's perform that. Let's begin with a do. And here's our opportunity to save our context. And saving a context can actually throw an exception. So we need to mark this line with a try. Let's access our manage context and call the save function. Once we do this, we save the context and the deletion will be performed. So we actually need to update the table view accordingly based on deleting that expense. So let's access our table view, expenses table view, dot delete rows, and let's only delete the row at the index path that the user slid to delete, and let's give it an automatic automation. I'm still getting yelled at because I have not actually handled this exception that this manage context can throw when I save. So to handle it, we need a catch block. And let's print off, um, could not delete expense. And now we need to reload that cell for our expenses table view to mark it so that the deletion, slide to delete is no longer visible. So expenses table view dot reload rows at index path, and the automation is going to be automatic. So this is all we'll have to do for this deletion function. And now it, we need to call it inside our commit editing style for row at index path. So delete expense at index path. And now I can save and I can run this. I can create a new category. Let's call this Apple products. Let's click save. Let's select Apple products. Let's create a new expense under here called iPhone 4S. It's for a measly $5 and let's click save. You know, I regret immediately buying this iPhone 4S. So let's perform the delete by clicking delete. And it is now gone from our Apple categories. Now I can prove that by going back out to categories and selecting Apple products. 
Now that we've done the delete, let's talk about a difference between deleting an expense and deleting a category. The first thing that should be noted is when I go to the expense, the core data model, and I select the entity expense, and from here I select our relationship, the delete rule is nullified. Essentially what this means is I can delete an expense and all references to it will be nulled, meaning that they will no longer exist. So in category, we have an array of expenses. If one of those expenses is deleted, the reference is now null. It won't point to that expense any longer. This is different from the relationship in category and that delete rule is cascade, meaning if we delete a category, all the expenses that are related to it will be deleted as well. So with this principle in mind, let's go back to our expenses view controller, navigate to the top of the page to this category. When we perform a delete on an expense, the array of expenses will actually be updated here for us, but we don't actually need to delete the expense out of the array because core data is doing it for us. We only simply need to delete the row in the table view because our data source is essentially preserved and intact and accurate. This is different from our categories view controller because in its deletion style, we actually had to remove it from our categories array. This is because we were performing the fetch on a view will appear and not actually having our data update every single time we were performing a delete. 